Hi you guys. So I just want to come at you with a really quick review of some stuff that I've been meaning to review but I just haven't had the chance because I've been lacking on my videos and I don't want to get any further behind than I already am. Um, I apologize for being MIA. It's just that I've been kind of busy doing some other stuff and I'm trying to make time for these videos and knock them all out. Um, I don't have any makeup on, of course. Just because I'm not going anywhere special. I've been in the house all day and all day yesterday because it is really nasty, rainy, and outside. And I had about two inches of water away from my front door. So any inch or two, water would have been flooded in my house. Crazy. Because my house is like, my driveway goes down in like a swoop. And in the backyard, so I'm sitting like in a bowl like this. So the water just boop, 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 boop. You know, crazy, right? And it's just been fixing all that stuff. But anyway, let me get into the review of some stuff. Just some random things that I want to review. So I figured I'd just collect them all together and just do it in one big thing. So, first thing is going to be, I'm going to go with some makeup stuff. Very few. Um, I went to Sally's the other day and I got a new eyebrow brush. It is the Ardell Brow double ended brush with the spoolie and then the brush on the other side um i really like this brush it was like i think like three dollars and i'm pretty sure people have seen it or have it or whatever but i'm just excited about it just because it was three dollars and it was cheap where the ones i usually use like the equal tools or some of the more expensive ones are cost a little bit more and i'm really picky about the stuff i use on my brows just because I don't know. I try my hardest to get my brows to look perfect because it really bothers me if my eyebrows are not done the way I like them to. So my makeup takes about a good five minutes or whatever. My brows, I always spend extra time on them trying to make sure that they are right. So if you don't have one of these brushes, go out and get it. I think they had the Fimi Couture one that was a little bit more expensive, like $7 or something like that. But this one was like $3.99. $2.99. Somewhere around there. It's really cheap, but it's actually a good brush. So I'm gonna go get some more, I think. And also, I saw I got I went to Hobby Lobby. Well, let me backtrack a minute. At Sally's, I ended up getting the uh, Face Secrets. What is this? Makeup brush cleansing palette. Look like this. They clean your brushes and sanitize them. They're just like makeup remover wipes, but they're cleanser wipes for your brushes. Um, you could use these like when you go to a job or something. Put them, put them in your kit, basically. Or use them at home, whatever. Between washes, just, you know, take it out and, do, and uh, clean your brushes. They're really big. Oh, by the way, I have them in this little Ziploc thing. Just because this snap doesn't snap down all the way, and I don't want them to dry out because they tend to do that. Um, but they're really big, and, you know, just open it up and pull one out but you have to work quick with them because like I say they dry out so I'm really afraid if I don't have them in my little plastic ziplock that they are going to dry out and I took these with me last weekend when I did a client's makeup so that is good love that and then I actually went to uh, Hobby Lobby to the Arts and Crafts section to get a paint palette. I ended up getting this one. Little bitty plastic one. Put your thumb through it. Anyway, I'm going to use it for my makeup though because I'm not a painter. I'm not an artist like that. But it was only like $1.99. Super cheap. Because I actually went to paintpowercosmetics.com where they have a lot of you know professional makeup and everything. And I was going to get one of the uh, professional makeup palettes where they're like $5.00 six dollars and up you know and they're just plain plastic squares or metal square so i figured you know what i don't, I don't need something like super expensive or i don't need to say makeup palette just to use it as a makeup palette so i got one of these artist palettes and it's kind of i like it you can put your thumb through it hold it you know while you're doing people's makeup put your stuff on there use it do what you need to do sanitize it wash it off and keep it moving throw it back in your uh, kit and also while I was there, I found some brush cleaner that I was going to order from Paint Powder Cosmetics. But since I went to Hobby Lobby and I saw it there, I was like, what? 
So I went and I got that. It's the Pink Soap Brush Cleaner, the Mona Lisa. So I don't know if any of you uh, used it or anything. So usually I use uh, some mild soap, some baby soap or something like that and just wash my brushes like that. But this soap is, as soon as I wash my brushes with this soap, I notice a difference. They feel so soft. It conditions the brushes. It sanitizes. It gets all the makeup and dirt out of there. And I was kind of skeptical about it at first after I got it. That's why I only got you see this little bitty small one and this little one ounce bottle was $2.99 so I'm gonna go back and get the bigger one but um, I don't know if you consider that cheaper or a little bit expensive for one ounce but $3.99 for this little bitty one ounce bottle and I was kind of skeptical about it because after I got it and I tried to use it well when I got home and was gonna use it, it it's it's pink soap it's a little watery so when, as soon as I put it in my hand it just started running like water I was like oh man I got this crap I was like luckily I got the little bitty one ounce bottle so it's just a, like a sample as soon as I put my brush in there I completely saw it change color where all the makeup came out I was like what I mean it it, it lathers very very little but it works great and it's like I say it's liquidy you can see see how liquidy that is and it's like runny it's not thick like you know shampoo or soap soap you know you would think but it is the bomb go out and get that because people are always asking me what do you wash my brushes with what do you recommend go ahead and get some of this this is good and they also have one with a blue label that's called power wash cleaner for latex brushes and um oil base you know paint and stuff so i might get that one too and try that but this one i know is is good as soon as I got through washing my brushes with it like I say it was soft they felt conditioned when I used them after I washed them I completely saw a difference I was like oh my god I'm going back to get the huge the biggest bottle they have the next few things I have are hair products I'm gonna go really quick through the hair products um, I've been using this since probably the summertime um, which is the Cantu Shea Butter Grow Strong Strengthening Treatment now I got this one just to try it out because I've seen lots of reviews on the Cantu Shea Butter stuff. So I got it and mainly I don't even put this on my hair unless you know I'm doing a deep condition. Because I, I don't know. I, I don't know why I thought to do this. It just says like on the back it says you can do it for a deep penetrating leave-in. If you put it on and put a plastic cap over it and leave it all night. But you know I'm not that patient. I'm just. I don't just have patience like that. So I put it on, cover my hair completely with it, put a plastic cap over it, sit on the dryer for 15-20 minutes, and my hair has felt, has never felt softer. Never felt softer. And it's thick, it's white, it's pasty. You can see that. So I use this like a deep condition every week. Every week. It is really, I just love this. I don't know. And it's cheap. Don't ask me how much it is, I don't remember, but you can get it from uh, Walmart or something like that. Then I also got the Cantu Shea Butter Oil Moisturizer. Well, when I wash my hair, I put this on there. Not that much, because I don't want it to be greasy or wear my hair down. But in conjunction with this, my hair feels so, so soft and moisturizing. As you know, if you are a natural girl out there, that natural hair tends to get a little drier than uh, regular hair or like relaxed hair, straight hair, whatever. So moisture is key for us naturals. And I also put a gloss on there every day. And then the shampoo, if you watched my hair video from before, you saw that I have the Joyco shampoo. Well, I stopped using that and I started using the Alba. Alba, Alba, Alba. I love this. This is 100% vegetarian ingredients. You could use it every day if you want to. It is that gentle on your hair. It smells good. This is the Plumeria uh, hair wash. And it smells just like Plumeria, like from Bath and Body Works with a lotion or anything like that. It smells just like that. It lathers really, really good. And I wash my hair with this probably like once a week. But then throughout the week, I do a condition wash like every other day or so like that. So... And I also got the hair conditioner and mango moisturizing. This way, yeah. But the interesting thing about this is I was buying this from Walmart. They're like eight bucks a piece from Walmart. Cheap, right? But I go through the conditioner more than the shampoo because I condition wash, you know, throughout the week where I only wash once a week. 
But then the other day, I was at the commissary. If you guys live where I live on Fort Hood, at the commissary, they sell these two. And it's only $4 and some change at the commissary. So it's half the price is at Walmart. So I was like, what? So now I go to the commissary and I get this. Instead of paying $16 at Walmart, I'm only paying $8, $9 at the commissary. This is good. I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I'm, I finally found something to replace my Joico with. And it's just great. And what's interesting about it is my hair is just, like I say, it's softer. It's shinier. Especially with putting the gloss in there. And my husband ran his fingers through my hair the other day. And he's like, wow. I ran right through your hair. And I was like, what'd you expect? And he's like, I thought it was going to get caught. I'm like, why well, isn't that when people see somebody natural, they automatically think their hair is nappy. Like, you can't get a comb through it, your fingers, nothing. It is not the case. We are not like back in the old days where you look like steel wool on your head. You know, people's hair has come a long way being natural. There's things you can do to it, moisturize it, everything. You can run your fingers through a natural person's hair. That is such a stereotype. Everybody with natural hair, hair is not nappy. Example. So now he's like always got his fingers in my hair. I'm like, leave my head alone. He's like, I like it, I like it. I'm like, ugh. So I guess, I don't know. He's seen me like this for a while since he's came back from deployment in like May. But I guess he's never just like ran it through there. He's, he's done this. But I guess he ran his fingers through my hair the other day. He was just so surprised. So I'm running out of time. I gotta go. I promise I'll come back and do all my requests. So. This is guys, bye.